okay uh, this class uh, we will discuss on the bjt ac analysis for common collector and common base circuit configuration last week we have discussed on the common emitter okay the first uh, configuration that we will we will discuss in this class is uh, a configuration we call it emitter follower so emitter follower the name is actually uh, also known as common collector so uh, common collector is equal to emitter follower so this is common collector because uh, if you uh, refer to this circuit the input is connected to the base output is at the emitter so collector is the unused uh, port so this is a common collector okay so uh, what is the characteristic of this uh, this configuration Okay, first, uh, the input is high, so the input impedance is high, so the Z in of this type of configuration is very high, is high, and then uh, low output impedance, so AV the uh, output low output impedance uh, the Z out is very low, so it's very good, but the voltage gain is uh, is quite low, so it uh, most this is the maximum uh, this it. The, in general, the voltage gain of this configuration is less than 1. So it can be 0 0.8, 0 0.9 something. Okay. Uh, and then the input is, uh, this is apply, this is uh, apply in the base, output is from the emitter. And then another characteristic is the no phase shift between input and output. So if you compare this uh, common collector or emitter follower with the common emitter, so for the common emitter, the output, the phase difference is 800, 8, uh, 8, 180 degree. Okay, the, the phase difference is 180 degree. Uh, but for the emitter follower configuration, there is no phase shift. So, um, for the common emitter, the gain is negative. For the emitter follower, the gain is positive. Okay, so uh, when you do the AC analysis, first of all, make sure you, you can uh, draw the mid-band equivalent circuit. So uh, we do this one. So I will start from the input port. So input port, we have the VI. And then the capacitor here, this is a short circuit. So we have here a short circuit. And then we come to the this space. For this RB, the VCC is ground so here the rb is ground okay at the base between base and emitter we have the small r pi so we have the r pi the voltage is across the r pi is v pi and then now we have the this is the emitter this is the emitter uh, junction so emitter nodes emitter terminal, emitter terminal is connected with the RE and at emitter, emitter, emitter nodes we also have the connection to the output so the C2 is short circuit okay. between uh, emitter and collector we have this dependent uh, current source so uh, and the collector is grounded okay if the r node is uh, r node is not infinity we should have a small r node here but uh, in our uh, course uh, most of the time 99 percent of the example we will remove this r node okay so the uh, equivalent circuit will looks like this so this is v out and then uh, do do uh, do not forget to uh, label all the all the component. For example, the current source is GM B pi. Okay, this is the equivalent circuit. Okay, after the drawing the equivalent circuit, we uh, analyze the input and output impedance. So the input impedance since from this from the base point. Okay, from the base point. So the input impedance here is the combination of uh, RB with parallel with uh, resistor network resistor network are uh, seen from this base point 
So this is what we call it ZB. So ZB is impedance uh, seen or uh, observed from the base point. So this is ZB. So ZB, what is ZB? ZB we have uh, actually we have done the explanation of ZB uh, during the uh, common emitter without the bypass. So this is uh, actually the same uh, analysis. So ZB is actually a voltage at the base over current base current. Okay. So voltage at the base is uh, the total for voltage at the R pi and voltage at the R naught. So this is voltage at the R pi and this is voltage at the so it's not R naught R R E. So this is voltage at the R E. So voltage at the R E uh, uh, according to the base on the ohm floor, the voltage at the R E is this is emitter current, emitter current I E times this is uh, I E times R E. However, I E can be related to the I B using the beta plus one. So beta plus one I B R E. So that's why we got this one. And then we can cancel out the I B. We got the Z B. Okay. So this is how uh, you uh, determine the Z I. So Z B can be calculated. After that, you can calculate Z I. Uh, the RB parallel is ZB. Okay. Okay. For this case, uh, in this example, uh, there is no load connected to the output. There is no load connected to the output. There is no RL. So if there is RL, so you need also to uh, consider the RL. So the RL will be in parallel with RE. Okay. In parallel with RE. So uh, the equation will be uh, slightly changed. So in, in the ZB equation, there should be RL. Okay, and then next, how about the output impedance? How you can uh, determine the output impedance? So the output impedance is uh, here. So this is the output port. It's seen from the output port. Okay. Uh, the general definition of output impedance is the impedance measure at the output port uh, in condition where the input is grounded. So the input will be grounded. So here the input is grounded. So what happens when input is grounded? The RB will be parallel with the uh, grounding. Uh, with the grounding, so RB will be uh, ignore, ignore, eh? Because most of the current will pass the grounding before it, uh, and will not go to the RB. So voltage drop zero. Uh, this is the zero voltage drop. So this is RB can be ignored. So uh, in this, uh, when we consider this uh, condition, which is the uh, input is zero, so the drawing of the circuit, the current circuit, can be. Uh, can be redrawn into something like this. Okay, so we have here the RB is uh, now there is no RB. We have this one is R pi. This is V out. This is R E. Yeah, this is Gm V pi. Okay, so uh, you want to calculate the Z node here. You want to create calculate the Z node here. Okay, so um, to have a clear view on the circuit from this uh, from the output port. So uh, usually I will redraw the circuit. Okay, I will redraw the circuit. So the circuit will be something like this so this is the output port so this is the output port so output port will be re and then we have this this emitter point at emitter point there is a current source pointing upward so this is gmv pi and there is also a 
the base here though so this is a this is r pi okay and then you take note that the polarity of v pi will be something like this so negative will be at the upper side okay because we are arranging we, we actually we did not uh, make any significant change but we, we just rearrange the component okay so the z out is seeing from this point okay here uh, it is important for you to notice the the which one is the uh, terminal for the bjt for example so this is the emitter terminal and this is uh, the collector terminal and this is the base terminal okay and then for every terminal you will have uh, the current so the current at the base is pointing upward this is ib the current at emitter is pointing to the right side this is ie and the ic is towards upward okay so the z out yeah when you have this uh, circuit analysis you see that the z out is equal to re in parallel with uh, impedance we call it ZE so ZE is actually the impedance seen from the emitter port seen from the emitter port and then uh, what is ZE so the ZE is equal to uh, voltage at this point ZE is equal to VE over negative ie okay this uh, i make it uh, small letter so why this is negative because uh, uh, for when you uh, have the ve here when you do the ohm's law the when you consider the ve the point at the ve with respect to ground so the current current direction should be uh, towards the left side, but now the 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 actual current current direction is towards the right side. So we need to apply negative here to show the opposite direction. So the direction here is towards the negative towards the left side. Okay, so I have negative I E. Okay. And then uh, what is um, V E? VE is the voltage at this point. So voltage at this point is actually a uh, voltage drop at the R pi. So voltage drop is at the R pi using the Ohm's law is the current at the R pi times the resistance at the R pi, the, the R pi itself. So and then you note here the, the current direction, the base ID current direction is the opposite to what we want to calculate. So we apply the negative ID. So this is negative ib times r pi. And then you have ie. So negative can be cancelled out. And then ie can be uh, related to the ib using the beta plus 1. So this is ib r pi over beta plus 1 ib. So cancel out. And finally, you got Z equal to R pi over beta plus 1. Okay, now you got the equation. So Z out is equal to R e parallel with Z e, which is equal to R pi over beta plus 1. Okay, there is uh, also uh, something that you need to take into account, which is if there is, uh, if we, in this case, there is no signal connected to the input. If there is signal connected to the input and then the signal have the internal resistance RS at the input. So uh, in this case, RB will not disappear. So we need to consider the RB as well as the RS. So they will change the, uh, the equation a little bit. Okay, how about the voltage gain? So for the voltage gain, uh, for this uh, analysis, I we just uh, consider the 
first we consider the uh, AVOC. AVOC is when there is no load connected to the output. So AVOC is V out over V in. So the V out is here. So this is the V out. So V out is actually voltage across RE. So V out is uh, voltage across RE. V out is IE. The actual current of IE is towards downward IE RE. And then IE is equal to beta plus 1 IB RE. Okay, for the V in, V in is uh, voltage at the R pi, V pi plus voltage at the uh, RE. So this is actually is at the uh, voltage RE. So I put it RE. So this is V pi is IB R pi. V R E is beta plus 1 IB R E. So this is the equation. So next, uh, A V O C is uh, V out over V in. So you can cancel out the IB. Finally, you get this equation. Okay, and then uh, if you uh, need to uh, calculate the current gain, if you need to calculate the current gain, so uh, again, uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to confirm the definition of the gain. And you need to confirm the, the current, the current direction. So the outcome of this analysis will be depend on the definition of the current gain or definition of the voltage gain. For example, in this uh, slide, you consider AI as an output over the input current, but the I out here, this is uh, showing the the input, uh, the current towards uh, entering the is entering the output port rather than uh, exiting the output port. So in this case. So uh, I out is equal to I negative IE. So this is actually equal to negative IE. And then you see what is II. II is uh, so II is uh, can be expressed. Okay, II can be expressed um, using the relationship with the IB. So you see here, ID is the current entering this point. So ID is current entering the base point. So the ID is the current divider between the ZB and the RB. So current divider of this is, is, uh, is uh, expressed by this equation. RB over RB plus ZB II. And then lastly, II is equal to RB plus ZB over RB IB. So you see here the we can uh, express or we can represent II as a function of IB. So uh, the I out also as a function of IB. So the IB can be cancelled out, and lastly we can get this answer.